Hello and welcome to this quick guide on creating pets in Crater. So I was approached and asked to make a tutorial on how to get some pets to follow the player around in the game. This is relatively straightforward using some of the uh, vector logic that I talked about in a previous tutorial. Uh, so the first step would be to use something like a, a football or a, a grab your pet mesh or whatever that is, and then add a script to that called follow player. And if I show you my follow player script, all it does is simply when you interact with this entity, it gets hold of whoever just interacted with this entity and sets their character as the owner, which is a property I'm creating, a class level variable I'm creating within the script in the init function. And we're just setting the, the player's character, character to the owner there. Then on the on tick, I just check that we have an owner and check it's not equal to nil and then get hold of the vector from the player's character to the entity you want to follow the player. And the way we do that is we just get the position of the player and we subtract the position of that entity. I store this in a local variable called direction. And then what you can do with that is you just apply that as the velocity of this entity. So essentially it will always move towards uh, the, the player. So let's have a little test of that. So I've added this script to this football here. So let's say I've got a pet football and I'm going to interact with this football and we can now see the football will follow me around. And you could do this with something like a voxel mesh or a, a, just a normal mesh um, and do something like a fairy or a ghost because if I show you the problem with this way of doing it is that if I go to the other side of this voxel mesh here, you can see it clips through, it clips through the voxel mesh. So it's one way of doing it, it's kind of cool, but it means that it misses out on any of the physics or the collision detection that's going on uh, for everything else in Crater. So it doesn't look necessarily very realistic. Now, if we wanted to level up the realism a little bit and have it uh, do this same strategy following the, of following the player, but we do it, but do it with physics, we can totally do that. We would just use uh, add impulse instead of set velocity. So if I comment out the set velocity and instead I use the add impulse. Some aspects, uh, some new stuff will have to come along with that. For example, the football will now need the physics enable checkbox turned on and I've set the mass, I've overridden the mass and I've set the mass of the football to 900 grams or 0.9 kilos and this uh, this is because I found that to be quite a good level of mass, which means it can still go up steps without having too much force applied to it and creating uh, mayhem in all the different directions. So uh, we can see here that I'm applying a force of whatever the direction is times 0.2. Uh, and at the moment, the direction includes uh, how far away these are these points are from each other. So how far away the player is from the football. Uh, and so we don't really want to include that when we're applying a force. So we can get rid of that and just use the direction by using this normalize function here. And then because we're now using physics in our game here, we don't actually have any kind of drag. There's no uh, air resistance or, or anything like that. So we might want to set up some drag to make sure that it doesn't just orbit the player as if it was in space. So I've done that down the bottom here. If I then go and interact with the football again, we can see that now it's kind of bouncing along the floor and rolling towards the player. So my pet football can still follow me, but it's doing so with physics now. If I wanted to make this duck follow the player, I can use this football as almost like the duck's rigid body. So because it's a sphere, it's cool because it will roll around. Whereas if I tried to use the duck, it's square and the friction might cause problems or uh, it might rotate the duck into weird directions and, um, and not necessarily look quite right. So I've got the duck as a separate entity from the football. And I'm just going to add a couple of scripts to this duck that I've created. The first one is going to be the match position script. 
And essentially this works as if uh, the duck was a child of the football, but it just essentially matches the duck's position to whatever entity I put in here. So I'm going to put the football in there. And I've got this checkbox to say, should it do that from the beginning onwards? If we look at the code here, all it's doing is um, it sets up a uh, class level variable here for whether it should start matching the position or not. And where, if, it, if not, then when we run this start function, we will start matching the position there. And I'm also turning off collisions of the duck at that point. Uh, so collisions are enabled until it starts following the player. And the reason being that the collisions uh, of the duck mesh asset, uh, voxel mesh, might inter interact with the football mesh and create problems with the physics going on there. So I'm just removing the collisions from the duck completely uh, and just matching its pos position to the football. Uh, and I'm going to run that from the oninteract method. So we can see it does that here. And the last script I'm going to add is the is another one I've written here called look at. And the look at script essentially takes a target or um, from the on interact event, it essentially grabs hold of the player character. And then if it has this target, if it has a reference to a player, then it will use the same method we did when we did the follow player to get hold of a directional vector to that player set the Z of that to zero so that it's not looking up and down. It doesn't pitch. It just uses the yaw of our rotation and then just set the forward direction of this entity to the directional vector there. So with these three scripts, I can make it now so that the duck will match the football's position and follow us around. And the last thing to do really is to turn off the football visibility. So the football is now almost an invisible entity that acts as if it's the duck's rigid body. And it means the duck can follow us around and look like it's following the player. That's essentially a quick way of making a pet that follows the player around. There are lots of cool ways to extend this. For example, we've just seen a bug there where um, the, the duck exists in the same place as the player uh, and so to combat that you might do something like uh, reduce or or stop it uh, applying a force within a certain radius of the player animals you know might like to be near players not necessarily on them uh, and that's it hopefully that's helpful and i look forward to seeing how you use it in crater